Hi, uh, good afternoon. Welcome to the IFX 2016 happening right here at Kodisia Trade Fair Complex in Coimbatore, which is in the southern part of India. We have with us at the Forest Polymer Stall our special guest for this afternoon. He is uh, Mr. Deepak Reddy and he's from Nelcast, which is based in Chennai. Let's just talk to him. How are you doing, sir, today? Doing fine. It's been a very interesting show. Unfortunately, not enough time to catch everything that, uh, that's going on here. I know, I know he said he's in a rush, he needs to leave in another 5-10 minutes. We don't want to delay him, so I'm, get to, I'm going to get to the questions very quickly. Uh, sir, tell us that you've been in this industry for some time. What do you think are the challenges facing us today in this industry? Um, I'd say I'm still relatively young in the industry. I've been okay. here now in, with the industry for 5 years. Okay. But uh, that being said, I think the challenges are quite uh, apparent. Okay. I think uh, definitely in terms of the efficiencies, of uh, what we have and what we're operating at as an industry as a whole in the country. Uh, we definitely have a lot of scope to improve uh, when it comes to areas like training mm -hmm. uh, and employee engagement. I think there's a lot of uh, opportunities there as well for, for improvement. Mm -hmm. And I think a, a general overall focus on adopting newer technologies as well as uh, getting better in terms of uh, our processes as, as well. Uh, there's a lot of room for improvement. So as an industry, we definitely face those challenges that we uh, can control. Uh, there's also several challenges that we uh, cannot as individual foundrymen control, uh, including capacities. Mm -hmm. uh, there is an abundance of capacity in the industry and as a result um, that generally tends to mean that there's uh, a lot of people competing for the same work mm -hmm. which impacts margins and uh, we makes the industry not as profitable as it could and be otherwise. Um, and also there's also greater demands coming in from the customer, greater requirements coming in from the customer every single day. Hmm. And uh, tuning up the, the foundries uh, to meet these kind of demands going forward is uh, something that we really need to focus on uh, as individual foundries, individual foundrymen and uh, industries. Um, definitely that requires a change in mindset. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we need to be prepared for that. Yeah, I've been hearing this mindset thing uh, from a lot of people. Everybody's saying, you know, they mentioned some of the challenges that you mentioned. When you say mindset, what exactly do you mean? Uh, when I say mindset, I think it's a, it's a way of looking at how we've been working uh, in this industry for the last decade, two decades, or five decades. Um, and the, the honest truth is with the change in the industry, it's become a much more volatile industry. Uh, compared to what it was before. It's become a much more uh, challenging industry for sure, mm -hmm. uh, not just from a volatility standpoint, but also from a requirement standpoint. What used to be good enough 10 years ago is no longer good enough. What used to be good enough five years ago True. is no longer good enough. So uh, the first thing that we need to acknowledge when I talk about mindset is this change um, that, is ha that we need to understand that, that if we continue doing what we're doing today, five years from now or 10 years from now, that we might not exist. Right. And that's something that we need to acknowledge as a mindset and not just think, we've been doing this for the last 30 years and if we keep doing this from 10 years from now, we'll still be the same. So I yeah. think that's what I mean when I talk about mindset, is, is how we operate and how we focus on things um, and what, what the important parameters are, whether it be productivity or different other efficiency metrics that we uh, uh, should definitely improve on in the industry. Right. Thank you so much for that. Um, have you been associated with uh, Forest Polymers for a while now? Absolutely. We've been uh, a customer to Forest and a partner to Forest okay. uh, for uh, several, several years now. Okay. Um, we have a lot of their uh, uh, chemicals mm -hmm. the, uh, for the for the cores that we manufacture mm -hmm. uh, that we uh, source from Forest, and they've been uh, a good support mm -hmm. uh, to us. It's been uh, it's been a good relationship so far. Oh, good to hear that. Is there anything you want to tell us today? Um, I think the industry definitely, uh, the theme of this conference also is nurturing growth, mm -hmm. nurturing manufacturing. Right. And I think uh, that's something that we as a, as a group, um, whether it be the community of foundrymen, whether it be the community of suppliers, I think this is something that we need to be more collaborative on and uh, work together to find the best solutions uh, that will end benefit the entire industry as a whole. Um, and I think that that's something that uh, an event such as what we have today um, and also the kind of discussions that go on at these events uh, tend to promote. So I'm uh, really glad to be here. I'm glad Horus is, uh, is part of this, uh, this uh, event and uh, I look forward to uh, a chance in the next few minutes, uh, which is all I have left, 
Yeah. Uh, before no, the, I'm just going to wrap ends. this up and ask uh, you a very quick question. Sure. You said you're a young member in the foundry industry. Um, how did you get into this industry? Uh, well, I think most young people like, tend to shy away from the foundry industry. Right. Uh, but for some reason, uh, uh, I, this is what this is the company that was started by my father. Right. And I, I, in spite of having other opportunities, other options, it's an industry that I felt had tremendous potential. And I still today uh, feel this is an industry with tremendous amount of potential um, globally. Um, I think uh, India and the Indian foundry industry has the potential in the next five to ten years to be the global leader in the foundry industry. And I, that's why uh, I'm here and I do what I do because uh, I, I really think that we can get to the point where we realize that potential. So good to know that you're here by choice. That's a choice that you made. Wonderful and it's been positive talking to you. Uh, we wish you a very, very pleasant day here at the Expo. Thank you so much for stopping by Thank at our you. forest stall.